For generations, Japanese SUVs have been the benchmark of unmatched reliability, tough off-roading, and family comfort. Lately, their ranks have been additionally strengthened by the new compact soft rotors and electrified models that have all the necessary ingredients to become industry's best sellers. In today's episode of Automotive Territory Daily News, we'll be looking into the latest 2021 SUV models from the land of the rising sun and exploring the upgrades that fan favorites are bound to receive in the near future. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell not to miss the upcoming episodes. Let's start the engines! Nissan Rogue In 2021, Nissan's compact crossover will arrive with a much-needed generation update intended to boost the Rogue in its fight against the latest Honda CRV and Toyota RAV4. Featuring a more upright stance, the new model has a beefier V-motion grille with active shutters, split LED headlights, a floating roofline, and aggressive creases on the sides. Under the hood, this Nissan hides the updated version of its previous 2.5-liter inline 4. The factory-boosted mill now delivers 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque, which were transferred to the front wheels through the CVT transmission. Another appealing fact about the new Rogue is its extensive list of standard safety features that includes automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, active lane control, blind spot warning, high beam assist, and automatic rear braking. Toyota Corolla Cross By the logic of automakers, in the era of SUV domination, every single car simply cannot exist without a crossover version of itself. This time, the Cross moniker is being slapped on the Corolla. The newcomer arrives on the heels of the European bound Yaris Cross, but as an affordable international model. You guessed it, it will be riding on the same TNGAC architecture, has 6.3 inches clearance gets more rugged front fascia and some minor cladding. The two mils on offer are a 1.8-liter four-cylinder with 180 horsepower and a hybrid with 122 HP, both front-wheel drive only. On the inside, the new model copies the regular Corolla, so expect to get a 9-inch infotainment, optional power front seats, dual-zone automatic climate control, a power liftgate and a 360-degree camera. Nissan Aria Ten years have gone by since the introduction of the Nissan LEAF, and now the company is finally ready to expand its electric passenger car lineup. As expected, the series production Aria crossover arrives built on a new specialized EV platform that allows for several drivetrain configurations. The entry-level model gets one electric motor and 63 kWh battery, so it is good for 218 horses and 188 miles of range. If you opt for the bigger 87 kWh pack, then you'll get a 242 horsepower motor with 277 miles of range. If performance is what you're looking for, Nissan also offers a two-motor version of the model that gets the same batteries and can produce 306 ponies, 124 mph speeds and 0-60 to acceleration of 5.1 seconds. Finally, we should mention that both packs get liquid cooling while on the inside, the crossover features the latest infotainment tech as well as the new ProPilot 2.0 driver assist. Honda Pilot For the upcoming model here, Honda's popular three-row crossover adds an excellent 9-speed automatic transmission as standard across the entire range. Besides, the buyers of the entry LX trim We'll also get standard stop-start system, dual-zone climate control, and pedal shifters. However, the biggest update is the arrival of the new special edition trim that will narrow the gap between the EXL and Touring models. Taking everything from the EXL, the model adds new 20-inch black wheels, roof rails, black grille accents, hands-free tailgate, and a wireless phone charger. 
Honda continues to equip the pilot with only one engine, which is a 3.5 liter V6, delivering 280 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. If you are a fan of Japanese SUVs, this video deserves a like. Start thinking about your favorite model from the list and leave a comment once the entire lineup is reviewed. Let's keep rolling! Toyota Vanza The first-generation Vanza was a somewhat bulky mid-size crossover sold on the American market between 2009 and 2015. In 2021, the company decided to return the nameplate to the US, but now it is taking a form of the hybrid-only model, which is a rebadged version of the all-new fourth-generation Toyota Harrier sold on the Japanese market. Built on the TNGAK platform, the model slots between the Highlander and RAV4, but offers a much more refined exterior styling with sleek LED headlights and optional dual LED DRLs. The drivetrain system consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and three electric motors that in total produce 219 HP and allow for an on-demand all-wheel drive system. Being a Toyota, the 2021 Venza boasts the second-generation safety sense and full smartphone connectivity. Subaru Ascent Already in its third year, the larger Subaru SUV arrives in 2021 with more standard safety and technological features. The standard eyesight selection of assists is expanded by the addition of advanced adaptive cruise control with lane centering and a new lane keep assist. All four trims of the seven-seater gain steering responsive LED headlights, while the seat belt reminder for the rear rows ensures that the passengers are safely buckled up. Just as before, the Ascent offers 152 cubic feet of passenger space, 8.7 inches of ground clearance, and plenty of room for your cargo. The drivetrain also remains unchanged, so the SUV comes powered by a 260 HP 2.4-liter turbo four-cylinder that is paired with a CVT and Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive with the X mode and hill descent control. Toyota Highlander The 2020 model here marked a comprehensive overhaul for Toyota's second best-selling crossover in the US. The model is rebuilt from the ground up, growing in length by 2.36 inches and, as a result, offering more passenger and cargo room. The engine selection is now limited by two options, a standard 3.5-liter V6 or a new-generation hybrid that consists of a 2.5-liter four-cylinder paired with either two or three electric motors and a CVT. Starting from 2021, the Highlander is offered in six trims, including its first performance-oriented XSC model. It features exclusive exterior design with a more aggressive front fascia, LED headlights with black accents, a lower spoiler, and machine-faced 20-inch wheels. The XSC also gets retuned chassis, sportier steering settings, and sports car-like dual exhaust. Suzuki Across Following the recent agreement to cooperate on the selected models, Suzuki is releasing an SUV based on Toyota's bestseller RAV4, to be specific, its plug-in hybrid variant. The Across has less of a stormtrooper-ish front, but from any other angle copies its donor to the T. Its powertrain, on the other hand, is humbler. You're looking at a 2.5-liter four-cylinder coupled with an electric motor and an 18.1 kWh battery pack to deliver 180 HP and 199 pound-feet. Suzuki promises 46 miles of all-electric range in the WLTP cycle and 112 miles per hour top speed. This model has an E4 electronic four-wheel drive with a trail mode, which acts as an automatic limited slip differential control for the ultimate grip.
Toyota Forerunner Trail Edition. Before the indestructible Forerunner gets a complete redesign in 2022 or 2023, Toyota decided to release the iconic 5th generation model in one more limited edition. The Trail moniker was once used for the off-road TRD Pro models, so expectedly, the 2021 SUV is also adventure ready. Based on the SR5 trim, it is distinguished by four exclusive exterior colors, black badging and 16-inch dark gray wheels taking off the current TRD off-road and wrapped in Kevlar tires. The SUV also carries a Yakima Load Warrior roof rack and a 40-quart cooler that is installed in the cabin. Just as the rest of the range, the Trail Edition comes powered by the 4-liter V6 engine with 270 horses, a 5-speed automatic gearbox, and either rear or all-wheel drive system. Nissan Patrol This is an integral model with the Nissan's lineup, since vehicles based on its platform have been a part of the brand's history for 70 years. The latest refresh takes both luxury and technology levels up a notch, but keeps the outstanding off-roading capability we're so used to. Visual changes include a new V-Motion grille with a massive chrome frame and boomerang-shaped LED headlights. As standard, the new Patrol comes with a 4.0-liter V6 engine rated at 275 horses and 291 pound-feet of torque. In turn, the 5.6-liter V8 version with 400 HP and 413 pound-feet remains optional and could be equipped with hydraulic body motion control. The cabin gets better soundproofing, revamped central console, new diamond quilted leather seats and hand-stitched steering wheel. Bear in mind that on the US market, the patrol spot is occupied by the closely related Nissan Armada, which is also scheduled for the refresh in the nearest future. Would you say that the Japanese make the most solid SUVs these days? Which one of the presented newcomers makes it to your wish list in 2021? Leave your replies in the comment section below. Smash the like button if you haven't already, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and proceed to exploring the wonderful world of automobiles by clicking on the icons in front of you. See ya!